I've come to the School of Oriental and African Studies near Russell Square in London to meet with Maya Youssef, a Syrian-born musician who's been living in London for several years now. I was keen to hear more about her amazing instrument, the kanun. Thank you so much for having me. My pleasure. Uh, and uh, why don't you tell us about the kanun? Is that how you pronounce it? Properly? Yes, yeah? that's mm -hmm. correct. Obviously, in Arabic, there is uh, the letter qaf, so the proper way to pronounce it in Arabic is qanun, but that letter does not exist in English, therefore okay, you yeah. can say kanun. So basically, the the kanun, uh, as it translates, the word kanun in Arabic uh, translates literally as the law. Okay. The reason why is because this is one of the main instruments of the traditional Arabic ensemble. And also because it has so many strings, 78 uh, strings, the rest of the ensemble depends on it for tuning purposes. Okay. So, and so, so this is almost like maybe the equivalent could be like a piano. Precisely. Uh -huh. Actually, in, like in early uh, 20th century Arabic theory, mm -hmm. they, they say that this is the equivalent of a piano and a Hanun player would aim to to play um, in the same fashion of a pianist, so where, where two, the, the both hands do different things. Let's talk about the nuts and bolts of the instrument here. Um, we were, as, as we're setting up, um, it's been about 10 minutes <laughs> tuning, yes. as you can say. So how many, how many strings do you say you've got on? on so the... 78 strings. 78. So they are organized in a, in a course of two or three. So mm -hmm. if it's a bass, strings, they are organized in, in a course of twos. Mm -hmm. Uh, the rest is organized in a course of three, so basically every three string is one is one note. And okay. You pluck it as one. So three of them together is yes. Yes. Yes, they resonate as one. Okay. A very important feature of this instrument uh, is the are the levers. Ah yes, yeah. Because mm -hmm. um, in early twentieth century, the instrument did not have levers. So it was so one fixed tuning. Precisely, for... and for a kanun player, you you needed to have the the higher register on one scale, this on a different scale, and this. So you would know your song beforehand, and you would tune it on three different scales, and you would, so or you would use the pressing to produce the flats and the sharps. So you're actually sort of essentially shortening the length precisely, of the precisely, string, mm -hmm. controlling the tension. But thank goodness they, they yes. have been <laughs> added because it make they make life much more easier. So mm. basically, if I flick the, the lever up, the pitch mm -hmm. goes a higher, so yes. that's... Or if I flick it down, the pitch goes lower. Right. And one thing I've noticed is that, is it three or sometimes even four levers on each string? It's four. four. It's always four, because um, in, in Arabic music theory, a tone is four quarters. And this instrument is like a perfect like visual explanation of that. So basically mm -hmm. you have four quarters. So that's an, um, let's take an E. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna put because this is not usually up. So that's an E, E half flat, E flat, three quarter flat, double flat. So essentially, so this is a system that, um, since we're having this conversation in English, a lot of English speaking musicians might not know about the, yes. Um, it's the Macomb system. Of, yes. So each tone, like you say, is divided into four rather than at the two semitones where we're used to. Yes, uh, yes, indeed. So I'll play like a small improvisation on a scale called Bayati, which has E half flat. Okay. Thank you. 
things I noticed there as well, on top of that, is you've got this uh, sort of plectrum yes. <laughs> on, mm. both, on both fingers. Yes. Uh, and so, uh, obviously, that gives you quite a strong attack. Yes, that's um, true. So uh, they... It's, it, what, what's it made out of? You... Yeah, it's made out of uh, a shell of a turtle. Okay. And uh, basically, just because it's, it wouldn't... Uh, if I would just pluck with my uh, bare fingers, it wouldn't produce that clear sound. Mm -hmm. So that is really good for giving that de definitive sound. Yes, yes, the uh, the attack. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And but the, at the same time, I use my ten fingers. So basically, like arpeggios. I see. Uh huh. So so you've got a combination of tones there. Yes. The other thing I noticed as well is that you're using the the levers for um, what you might call ornamentation. You yes. Know, which is Stylistic, obviously, I'm thinking of the like the oud, Vibrato, you know, yeah. like you sort of get this m microtonal, uh, and so that's between that's essentially a, a quarter quarter tone um, trill almost. Yes, yeah. precisely. Yeah. Okay, and it's I, I've just noticed the way that the levers work. It's not, it actually is quite a, a fluid movement. It's not really a you know actually, it's not a, a firm delineation between your. Yeah. It's almost like a small like. Portamento between it, yeah. Yes. I'm wondering, could you do? Could you maybe do that in slow motion so we can just hear that the quality of that um, the vibrato? Yeah. You have to do it quick. You have to do it quick. Because if, if yeah, you do it slow, it. it wouldn't yeah. produce. One other thing that you mentioned a little earlier was that uh, I, I thought these were nylon strings, like um, like some other harps or guitars, but um, you said they're actually made of uh, gut and crystals. Yes. Right? Because this this instrument is specially made for me, so this is not the the traditional way of making canoes. So a traditional way would be either having strings made of gut or nylon. Mm -hmm. But uh, since this instrument has been specially made for me, and it actually it has my name in Arabic calligraphy here in the front. Yeah, I noticed that's uh, it's, yeah, a wonderful inlay, yeah. Yeah, so um, I've requested that because it gives much more clarity and also because this instrument is very um, easily affected by like factors of weather, heat and cold and etc. So having this type of this quality of strings make it much more easier and much more um, subtle tuning wise. One other thing that uh, I noticed here is this: is this skin that's yes. under the under the bridge here? You've got five sections there. Yes. Tell, tell us about that. So it's this is fish skin. Okay. Basically, and obviously it helps with the resonance of the sounds. So basically, when I um, so and you have these which we call shamsi or window. And um, so basically this and and uh, we call this rukme, um help in the resonance. So when I pluck, uh, the, the sound hits the bottom of the instrument and this helps with the resonance. Interesting. Yeah, because I guess with a lot of these instruments, it's actually, it's just as much the wood that's resonating as well as the string. You know, if, yeah. if, if you get more resistance, then it actually closes the sound. But Yes. So, it, and is it always fish skin? Or? It's always, um, I mean, it's most... Good quality canoes are fish skin, but mm -hmm. you can get goat skin, which but it wouldn't be the more um, the the same uh, as this. This is much more open and resonant. Right. So the different skins can give. It's, it's like I guess using different woods. Like Precisely. Yeah. Different yeah. different character. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I, I've just come at a time where you're finishing up uh, recording. Your is it your first album? Yes. It's yes. Nice. Yeah. It sounds like a, a very exciting project, and um, hopefully by the by the time this is out, it'll it'll be uh, hitting the shelves and hitting the airwaves. So, yes. um, uh, tell us about that project. So it's it's called Syrian Dreams, and it's um, basically it started with the beginning of the war when I I first I was forced to write music. I did not write my own music before, so. Um, it's basically my own personal journey and my people's journey through this six years of war and mm. and yeah, it's I would look at it as a as a prayer for peace because that was that was the ver the, the Syrian dreams is, is the peace um, that I first wrote and and yeah that's it's gonna be out in November and uh, on Harmony Wendy, so you can Great. watch out for it. Yeah, hopefully. perfect. And I think now's the time maybe to hear to hear a piece. Are we going to hear one of your pieces or a traditional yes, piece? Yes. Um, what do you prefer to hear? A traditional piece or one of my... I'd, I'd like to hear one of your pieces, actually. My own pieces. <laughs> okay. So I'll just... Um, I'll play one of the pieces on the album. And it's called Breakthrough. And it's a tribute to the unbreakable human spirit. Okay, lovely. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thanks for watching. Click on the links for more interviews, follow us on Facebook or subscribe.